the DMZ in the only divided country in the world. Let's take a look at uh, the demilitarized zone in a more focused lens. Following a dramatic turn of events in 2018, the DMZ, one of the world's most heavily guarded borders and a symbol of division and conflict, is now becoming a symbol of peace. Our Kim Min-ji has the details on the DMZ. The demilitarized zone has divided South and North Korea since hostilities ceased in the Korean War following the signing of an armistice in 1953. Running roughly 240 kilometers across the Korean Peninsula, the DMZ is a buffer zone two kilometers wide on either side of the military demarcation line where military activity is forbidden. Located within the DMZ is a truce village of Panmunjom. Over the years, the border village has seen an influx of visitors at times, while completely idle at others, all depending on the situation on the peninsula. On April 27, 2018, a new chapter in Panmunjom's and the nation's history was written. Panmunjom was the site of the historic summit between South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The leaders met at the military demarcation line that cuts across the village and even crossed over to each side, vowing to turn the DMZ into what they called a peace zone. Two more summits followed in its wake, gradually transforming one of the world's most heavily fortified borders into a symbol of peace rather than a symbol of conflict and division. The two Koreas inked a military agreement that removed landmines and guard posts within the area, as well as arms and ammunition. 35 soldiers from each side still stand guard, but they're unarmed. Seoul also reopened the joint security area on the southern side to the public in May. With U.S. President Donald Trump's visit to the DMZ, anticipation is running high that it could reignite nuclear talks that have seemingly stalled since the Hanoi summit in February and take the Korean Peninsula another step closer to peace. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.